Hi there, it's Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. In this video, we're going to play with Azure Container Instances. We're going to deploy a very simple Hello World container into an Azure Container Instance. We're going to see how quick and easy it is. If you like videos like this, I appreciate a thumbs up on the video. If you want to see more Microsoft Azure content, hit subscribe. Let's get into this video where we're going to go to the Azure portal and we're going to deploy a very simple container. So we're going to head over to the portal, which is portal.microsoft.com. We're going to go to the create a resource button. And what we're going to be doing is getting a container. So one thing I can do is I can search for container in the search box. And we're going to scroll through. There's a lot of uh, uh, non Microsoft options. So what I, something I like to do is I'll just skip over and see, I only want to see the Microsoft options and container instances comes up as the top result. Click on that. I'm going to min minimize the menu here so that we can focus on the task at hand. Now we do need to create a new resource group so I can call this new RG one, two, three, call it whatever you wish. We have to give this container a name. So my new container 2021. Thankfully, no one else has taken that. I can deploy that into any region. West US is available. Now you can see here that we do have choices for where to deploy the container from the image source. One of these convenient elements is the quick start. And so we can see that uh, Nginx is here. We can see that uh, uh, Windows Server, very simplified Windows Server core is available and also the ACI, which is Azure Container Instances Hello World. So I'm going to choose that. Now, I could also have a private uh, Azure Container Registry, ACR, that contains my own code images, or I could have a link to a Docker Hub or to some other public registry. I believe the mcr.microsoft.com is a Docker Hub URL too. So I could have choose the same URL for Docker Hub. Now we can see that it's offering me up a one CPU, 1.5 gig memory uh, container, which is extremely small. And so uh, we should have no trouble uh, running a hello world. And even if it is small. Now, when it comes to containers, uh, we do want to have a public IP address. Now, maybe in some cases, you're not going to want that to be public. You want that to be private, but we will need a public. Now is where we provide the fully qualified domain name. So I believe I called this um, new container test. I'll give it a new name. So new container test is going to be the name. I'll allow port 80 to be open. I don't need any other ports. We don't have to worry too much about uh, how to handle the container on failure. Uh, also, we don't, we're not passing in any environment value variables, or are we passing in any custom parameters for this specific one? We don't need any metadata. So we're going to now test Microsoft's saying the container instances are the fastest and easiest way to create containers. So I'm going to click the create button. And let's see if it is true that this is the fastest and easiest way to create a container. All right, so let's just look at how long that did take. It took 37 seconds. It's pretty reasonable for a container. Let's go to the resource. So we can see that there is a fully qualified domain here. I've made a copy of that. We have an IP address as well. Let's go into my handy dandy web browser, paste in this address, and you'll see it says welcome to Azure Container Instances. So that is the ACI hello world that we're expecting to see. So you can see how quick and easy it has been to create this container. We didn't have to provide too much. You do have to have an image to deploy. You can't create an empty container that does not point to any image, but uh, relatively quick and painless to create an Azure container instance that points to this uh, hello world image. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. This has been Scott Duffy from Get Cloud Skills. I do 
have a number of courses on Udemy relating to Microsoft Azure, specifically around, in this case, an AZ 104 Azure Administrator Certification. If you're interested in learning the details of Azure administration, check the link in the description. Anyways, I want to thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.